what's up my virtual home i hope you guys are having the most beautiful day now today's video is going to be about airbnb and more specifically we're going to have us a little chat about renting out a private room versus renting out the entire airbnb space so for some backstory airbnb is a booking platform where you can rent out your property for short-term or long-term stays for other people and other people will book your property and you will get paid based off the rate that you set um yeah so that i mean in a nutshell that's what airbnb is it's a booking platform that regular people with property or if you're doing uh where you're uh using someone else's property as long as you have that agreement you can actually book out that property that you're managing and get paid for it so guys um uh, first of all if you do want to start uh, booking out property that you manage I am going to put a link in the description where you can sign up and create a listing and if you use that link when you book your first guest you'll get $40 now I'm also going to put another link in the description about a course uh, called Airbnb Insiders Academy it is a course that teaches you how to avoid common mistakes. So whether you are a host already or you're thinking about becoming a host, if a course that kind of puts all the common mistakes in one course so that you can learn from that will be beneficial to you, well, that link will be in the description as well. Now, we want to talk about booking... Um, per room versus per entire space. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just started hosting with Airbnb. I've been on the platform a little bit over one month. So we're going on our second month on the platform. And um, based off of what I knew before getting on the platform and based off of what I know now, one month hosting, I believe that um, it is, possibly more profitable to book out your place per room so if you let's just say you have a four bedroom property and let's just say you know first of all what what amount per night do you guys think is good for a four bedroom property so if you were on vacation and you wanted to book a four bedroom airbnb what is the most that you may pay per night let's just say it was as an average home average neighborhood you know nothing spectacular let us know in the comments but um in our example let's say you're charging 150 a night well a lot of times when you are booking an entire place from what i have heard is that your occupancy occupancy rate uh, may not be very high meaning that even though you're booking for 150 a night you may not get and even though even at 150 sounds low for a four bedroom so let's just say 250. so like let's just say 250 per night um you may not get booked for half the month. So half the month is what, 15 days? You may not see 15 days. But if you are booking per room, even if you are charging, let's just say $45 a night, you have a greater chance in, of getting booked and you lower your risk. For instance, let's just say you have four spaces available and one or two cancel uh, their booking with you. You still have those other two um, rooms that will be going for that night. Okay. Now, 
I think the occupancy rate is probably one of the main reasons why you're gonna make more money because you can have different occupancy rates on each room. One room may only book out for half the month, 15 days. Another um, uh, booking may book out for you know 26 nights, giving you a close to a, closer to an 80% occupancy rate. And the other two rooms may do something in between, averaging you more overall income okay so um we can even uh do a quick example let's just say let's just say you are you're booking out a room on airbnb okay well, let's just say Let's just say you're you're maybe charging, um, let's say forty five dollars a night. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out our calculator. Forty five dollars a night. Let's just say the occupancy rate is fifty percent. Okay, so if you're doing forty five dollars at a 50 percent occupancy rate okay 45 dollars times 15 okay so that's what you're going to get so that that is 675 dollars so let's just say each of your four rooms you have four rooms let's just say they all did a 50 percent occupancy rate so you're going to do your four times your 45 dollars okay so you're going to say 45 times four which equals 180. so if you are if you're booking each room uh, each room so all four rooms is 180 and let's just say they are only doing 15 for 15 nights a month okay so what's our 180 times 15 that is still 2700 a month now a lot of times this 2700 dollars a month can pay somebody's mortgage okay let us know in the comments if your mortgage is under uh, twenty seven hundred dollars a month. So this is going to allow you to pay your mortgage and see a profit, even if you're doing a fifty percent occupancy. But let's just say things are doing a little bit better, and let's just say with our one room example, um, we do twenty nights. Okay, so let's just say our forty five dollars is doing. 20 nights okay so that is going to be 900 just off of one room okay but let's just say you have four rooms that are doing at least 20 nights okay so if we got four rooms at 45 dollars a night for 20 nights, that's going to be a $3,600 month for you. Okay. So what we can say that if it is that if you have a four bedroom unit with an occupancy rate between 50 to, uh, to 80, well, to 75 or so an occupancy rate of like 50 to like 75 or so, right? You can you can average and say that you may pull in between twenty seven hundred to thirty six hundred okay a night you know what they say greater or equal that to $3,600 a night. This is a decent profit 
let us know in the comments do you feel like $2,700 to $3,600 a month is a good profit for you know just renting a whole unit and this is gonna I feel like this amount is gonna be more guaranteed when you're booking by room than booking by um, um, entire place because if you did let's say you did charge a healthy $250 a night for your whole four bedroom unit and let's just say that got booked out five nights well even if it did five nights you know you're only getting like one thousand dollars if it did ten nights you're getting two thousand dollars but i think you're gonna have a less occupancy rate if you're booking out the whole place because now you got one booker that is taking up all four rooms all right one booker is taking up all uh four rooms okay and you know that's a, <laughs> when we say that's a lot okay <laughs> that's a lot so guys i think the best way to do it is to and this is just my opinion is to just have a property of at least four bedrooms charging at minimum $45 a night so that whether it does 50 or 75% occupancy or more, you're seeing between $2,700 to $3,600 or more. And guess what's also very flexible? Your nightly rate. You can always bring this number up, you know? up or down depending on the demand of your market so for me where i i think that first of all you're gonna have less risk uh with charging per bedroom or you know per private room and you're gonna make uh more money so also, it's more flexible. So, for instance, if you needed to go in and check on your units or you need to check on that property, no one has the assumption that they have booked the entire unit, meaning that you can come in as you like to find out what's going on, to manage your property, to, to eliminate risk, to, to um, you know, um, restock just to see what's going on, whatever, you know. So... With that being said, guys, let us know what you think about this in the comments. Um, this is the plan that I am going to run with because, like I said, if we're making twenty-seven to thirty-six hundred based off a of fifty percent or seventy-five percent occupancy rate, what if we had two properties? Okay, what if we had two four-bedroom properties, and then you can always just up this, right? So twenty-seven hundred, twenty-seven hundred times two is 5,400. Convert it then or equal to, let's say 3,600 times two, you're looking at 7,200. So this is like one for bed. But if you had two for bed you can see between 5400 to 7200 dollars a month and you know let's just say you know let's just say you had a third for bed okay let's just say hypothetically you had a third for bed so like you got three four bed units you're going to put that 2700 times three and now you're seeing between 80 100 if all three properties only did 50 percent occupancy and then two equal greater than or equal to 10 1800 so if you wanted to make ten thousand dollars a month just renting out rooms with airbnb you would need four eight twelve rooms 
12 rooms. Yeah, so 12 rooms is, is going to get you between 8 to 10K a month. That's just three properties. Um, guys, we all need to be working on getting our three properties as soon as possible so that we can make this semi-passive 8 to 10K a month. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments, and I'm going to see you on the next video.